Welcome to our interview with the one and only Tribulation. How are you feeling so far? Pretty good. Uh -huh. Good to be back in Ireland. You've been here before? Yes. Yeah, plenty of times. Should be the fourth, fifth time? Show? Yeah, maybe. Show-wise, wow. you know. <laughs> yeah, this guy knows. Uh, two shows at the Voodoo Lounge, at least. Wow. Yeah. Great venue. And what was the other? The Pint. The Pint, the Pint. Yeah. yeah. Two shows at the Pint as well, I think. But it's been too long. Yeah. It's, it's five, six years ago now. Wow. So. And you've been going... 14, 13 years, something We're like that? We're uh, 15-ish. Well, we started in 2004, so... And you've been here We're four or five times in that time. It's, it's Really, it might not seem like a big deal, but in terms of being an Irish metal fan, there's not a lot of... There, there's a common complaint that good metal bands never come here. Mm. What is it that draws you to keep coming back to Ireland? Is there some <clears> part of you that wants to grow that extra fan base is there some part of me that feels there is a fan base here for that kind of music no we, we have a history with yeah. ireland <laughs> that's really? why yeah because um our label yeah our, when we released previous our, label the uh, second album yeah uh, formulas of death we signed with invictus mm -hmm. so um uh, so and and, and since since then we've been coming back as a band and just personally as well. Mm. So. Um, from the beginning, because I was, I was talking to all of the bands I've interviewed this evening about uh, how they felt the music community, the metal community specifically, was perceived by them when they first started. Where you're coming from in your hometown, when you first got into this type of music, mm. how did you perceive that community to be? Well, it was, do you feel, do you feel it was fairly non-existent? Yeah, really? very small very town. Yeah. Um, uh, Arvika in Sweden. Yeah. Um, was, wasn't any metal scene at all, I Well, there, there, there was one. I mean... There was a scene, but uh, most of them were a lot older than we were. Right. And, uh, but I remember growing up seeing like posters for yeah, bands like Gehenna and Vomitori mm -hmm. from from the same areas we were from uh, playing. Um, so it it was there, but but we we kind of was it a kind of elitism that you found was in the scene or it... no? Nah. Well, pff, when we were thirteen, yeah. And well, we, yeah, <laughs> but that's not, a young not... age to get into it as well. Yeah, and we, even earlier actually, but that's I guess when we met other mm. kids yeah. <laughs> who also like metal and who were, they were a, a bit older I suppose and uh, mm. yeah elitism but I don't think that had anything to do with okay. it being a metal scene just being a like a high school thing God. Yeah. Yeah. yeah just hormones yeah, yeah. exactly and when you <laughs> first when, are, are you both original members of mm -hmm. the band? and when you first started the band was the intention to make this your career yeah do you Absolutely. Do you feel like in your because obviously every band wishes that that's something that will happen to them, mm. even in a small sense. Do you feel like it was really your mission to make this uh, your job? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's that's the dream, isn't it? Yeah. Always been, and uh, we're uh, getting closer to the dream. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But but I think I I mean, for me at least personally, uh, I just. Or I, I was obsessed with Iron Maiden and, and Kiss yeah. and bands like that. And since they were doing what they were doing, they were playing the stages that they were playing and so on. And that was everything I knew. So, of course, we had to be a bigger band. <laughs> yeah. You know, there was no other other way, and, in a sense. And when you first noticed, because obviously you have that trajectory going right now, but when you first noticed that growth, <clears throat> what was your next step to, to capitalize on that opportunity? Was it? Did you focus on, okay, now it's time to get a label, now it's time to tour extensively, or did it not affect what you were doing at all? We took it kind of easy, I would yeah, say. Yeah, yeah, and baby steps. <laughs> yeah. Just uh, day by day. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, basically. Day, yeah. Uh, first and, and first it's, the songs, then everything else will fall in place, kind of the yeah, scenario. Yeah, but the first album, our first album was released in 
2009, and we. Recorded. recorded it two years earlier. Yeah, it was so uh, we would had a fairly long boys. <laughs> career uh, uh, in that hello. sense. Hello, hello. Oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, it's uncooked. Yeah. yeah. So this, I would say, I, I don't know if John can vouch for me here. I feel by no, this would be the largest. This would be the largest <laughs> metal event in Ireland. Is that fair to say? It's the only metal event in Ireland that matters. Yeah. Well, there you go. If, if you were to compare this to, I don't mean to be shady now, forgive me, but if you were to compare this to an event in Sweden, do you think that there's much of a difference in terms of the, the people that are there, the organization, anything at all that comes to mind for how it might differ or how this experience has um, been different from the original? Or is it just music is music and enjoy it? Well, we were talking on the way over from from the hotel now, uh, because we saw a lot of uh, kids yeah. and uh, with metal <laughs> outfit. the outfit. Yeah. Yeah. And you see that in Sweden too, but I would say that most people who are into metal in Sweden are a bit older. Really? Yeah. yeah. I thought it would be a very open concept. Maybe because we're getting older as well, but... Uh, yeah, maybe we don't see them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but. Uh, yeah, it's a, might be right. Yeah, it's an older kind. It of feels like metal in Sweden. People think it's I don't know something of the past. Wow. <laughs> okay. Way. But maybe maybe that's just us. But well, something that I that I like to tip on with all the bands that I've interviewed is about uh, you were mentioning that you probably know a lot more about uh, the Irish metal scene than I might have previously assumed, but do you feel as though the location that a band starts will truly affect their trajectory to becoming successful? Hmm. Uh, it, yeah, probably for, for most people, but it can also just depend on if you're good or who not. you are. <laughs> for example, not to... Not to but absolutely, uh, if, if you want to look at it from a wider perspective, yes. <laughs> what I talk about with uh, the other bands is uh, influence from other bands where they're from. Do you feel that a lot of bands where you're from in your hometown or in the city are influenced by local bands when they are starting out? Probably when, yeah. when they're kids. I mean, you, you, can, you can tell if a band from Sweden is playing, say, black metal, you can... Yeah usually tell that they're Swedes. Because you bring up the idea of like Norwegian black metal or Swedish death metal, that kind of thing. Do you feel like that's something that maybe doesn't necessarily uh, produce less original, but more, um, more of a cohesive kind of community? As opposed to in Ireland it was brought up that we have you know, glam and we have metalcore, we have black metal, we have death. There's, but there is that range in Sweden as well, yeah. I would say. Okay. Because a lot of people brought up that the population in Ireland might affect that kind of thing. And that it might just be a smaller thing. But that's uh, neither here nor there. Um, the final thing I wanted to bring up is that next month you're playing with Ghost. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to ask, were either of you fans of Ghost before you uh, were aware that this would be an arrangement that you would come to? We've known the band since they started. Yeah. Wow. So it's yeah, we're all <laughs> all friends on good yeah. terms, kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. And the three arena is obviously a huge arena. Have you played in a venue this big before? Uh, I mean, festivals can yeah. be really big, yeah. of course, but, but uh, not really. I mean, not not not. We we haven't been. This is for sure the biggest tour. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. We ever done. Yeah. Or, uh, so we, yeah, we play similar places, but not. Not like this. No. So this is a big step, I suppose. Are you excited? Yeah. Nervous? Yeah. <laughs> nah. No. Ready but for it. Excited, it's yeah. just, you know, a lot of logistics and planning yeah. before that takes so much of your time. So I just want to be done with that so I can, you know, focus start to... Focus on the show. <laughs> yeah, focus on the show and, you know, yeah. get prepped. Look, the last thing I was going to mention is you're releasing, is it a live album? Yeah. yeah. A live endeavor. Had a look at the action. So that's the Yes, yeah. that's what I meant to say. Yeah. And 
what was it the part about a live album? What made you want to do that? Felt good, in timing wise, I would say. Yeah. Four studio albums, and it was the right location, the right venue to you know make a DVD and an a album. Historic venue. Yeah. Yeah. So we 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 had wasn't planned. Actually. No, it wasn't planned. It was just the show was booked. Before yeah. The, yeah. <laughs> So it was just a spontaneous kind of occurrence. Yeah, someone broke the idea about let's film it, and uh, and then the, it snowballed with yeah. the label. We, and, uh, we, because we, because of the um, the location, we wanted to do like a special kind of show. Yeah. Yeah. So why not film it? And why not record it? And then why not release it? Yeah. So. Well, look, that's like basic. Everything that I had to ask, and I really appreciate your time. I really thank do. You. I thank you so yes, much. Thank you. You have that live album coming out. You're playing next month. I'll be sure to have this interview out by that time. Cool. Thank you Great. so much. Congratulations. What's the crack? If you got to this point, thank you for watching all the way through to the end. If you want to see more interviews, I've got a whole lot coming. Then you can subscribe right down below the video. I've also got a whole lot more videos already up, and you can check those out here, here, wherever, or. If you just want to browse through the channel, that's totally up to you. Tribulation are one of the best extreme bands going today. And I'm absolutely honoured that they uh, took the, the time to talk to me. And I'm glad that I had that experience. I hope you enjoyed watching. Thank you so much. And uh, I'll talk to you next time.